Okay, we're going to take a quick look how to identify an IP address of a DHCP client. And this is a situation where you may have a device that has no simple way of indicating to you what IP address that's getting leased from the DHCP server. And you're needing to log into the device, uh, perhaps deploy the device, do some type of configuration, firmware update, etc., etc. So let's take a look at specifically in this scenario, what are the assumptions? So we know we don't have access to the DHCP server. And thus, when the device gets a DHCP lease for an address, we really don't know what IP address the device will receive. As I mentioned a few moments ago, the DHCP client has no LCD or other method to indicate what IP address it has. And uh, this is something you might run into with different devices. Um, it can be an IP camera. It can be an access point. It can be a telephony device. It can be a printer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this, you know, can be a common scenario, especially if you have a remote office situation where the resources are limited as far as troubleshooting and what type of uh, switches and other devices you have deployed for doing any type of pack level analysis. Uh, number three, you don't have access to the network switches and or the network switches are unmanageable switches. And, you know, again, this can be a fairly common scenario if it's a smaller office. Um, often to save on costs, folks will get unmanaged switches. And, um, or it can be a reverse scenario. Uh, the switches are managed. However, it is not something you have access to. Okay, number four, um, the next assumptions are going to be you have a PC on the same LAN segment, aka VLAN, as a device for which you're trying to identify its DHCP IP address. So th this is really critical because the technique we're going to be using is we're going to be sniffing the wire via Wireshark, specifically analyzing the broadcast packets. So for this example to work, um, the PC does need to be on the same VLAN, aka LAN segment as a device we're trying to identify the IP address. So this is a key requirement number four. And then the next key requirement is going to be that you have rights on a PC to install software, specifically Wireshark. So next we'll take a quick look at how this process works. Okay, we have launched Wireshark at this point of time. We want to go ahead and do a display filter for DHCP. This is really going to help us when we're analyzing the packets in real time, especially if you have a lot of devices on the network. This should help minimize. Okay, so we have DHCP. We're going to hit enter. We're going to select a network card. In my case, it's called Ethernet. Okay, and we're going to go to the unit itself and we're going to plug in the RJ45 cable. This is a PoE power device, so as soon as we plug it in, assuming we have it connected to a PoE switch, the device will start powering up. The amount of time it takes for the device to boot up and for you to see traffic will vary. This specific device is actually quite quick, so if you notice it's already sending out broadcasts. We want to wait until we see in the source column a response back from an actual IP address. Typically, they'll be the DHCP server. So we'll give it a few moments here. Okay, I'm going to pick the very last packet coming from 192.168.1.253. That will be the DHCP server for this network. If you notice, it says your client IP address is 192.168.1.60. So this is what the DHCP server is offering to the client. This device is web manageable, so I will go ahead and type in the IP address in my browser. And then let's see if the device offers us the web page. And it does. So in this example, we've analyzed a basic method 
to identify an IP address of a device that otherwise might be tricky to identify and or we don't have access to certain items within the network environment. Thank you for watching the video.